Welcome guys and welcome back to another video it's Ibrahim Muslim and today I'm back with another video on Hackintosh so this video is basically on how to set up your BIOS or UEFI boot up to work with Hackintosh so in this video I will teach you the best and the most compatible settings you can select from your UEFI BIOS to work with your Mac OS Mojave so there are a couple of different things you have to know before you start to set up your BIOS. Number one, which chipset you are using. So it can be Intel's Z or H100, 200 or 300 series. Right now what I'm using is Z390 chipset from Intel on my Gigabyte Gaming SLI motherboard. So this is very important. You can use these settings on your Z270 and 170 motherboard as well. So it will work almost uh, identical except there are a few different settings which are available in Z390 motherboard but not in the previous one. So let's go to the screen and see what we have to do to get it working best with our Mac OS. So we have booted into our BIOS and right now I'm using some of the settings. So what I will do is I will go and I will load my optimized default and after loading optimized default the first thing is let's move from right to left power options so you have to disable the power platform power management disable it and make sure the CEC 2019 is disabled if it's enabled you won't be able to disable the platform power management so let's disable it go back in VTD leave it enabled in internal graphics disable it okay so let's go back here in USB configuration make sure everything is enabled 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 okay then go back in SATA and RST configuration make sure the aggressive LMP support is enabled and AHCI mode is enabled don't switch to Intel RST premium with Intel Optane system acceleration because Mac OS does not recognize it yet so in network stack disable it then move left to the BIOS after moving left to the BIOS make your Mac OS drive as the main drive and to make the system boot faster you can disable the rest of them and you can access these drives from Clover Boot Loader itself if you don't want to access it from the boot menu one more thing if you will select Windows from boot manager and you will boot Windows from the BIOS then after every start Windows will switch to the boot option number one so it's better it's recommended that you boot Windows from Clover itself as well and then then after then go to Windows 8 and features and make it sure that it's other OS disable the CSM support in very rare cases disabling the CSM support might uh, make your GPU to not show display so in just those rare cases you can use CSM support as enabled otherwise you can use the CSM support as disabled in skill boot options leave it as it is and you can also restore to the factory keys okay so then move left make sure you have the latest BIOS version and in advanced settings here you can select enhance stability here you can overclock your CPU if you want to and this overclocking of CPU and memory is covered in another video which I will, I will be loading soon so you can watch that in system fans option you can also make them faster slower or silent so I always recommend silent or you can use a manual control system which is the best way to control it okay so after all of this is done you go to the most right section and you go here and down here you can save your profile so let's do it you can name it Hackintosh and that's it so that's all you have to do in your BIOS to make your Hackintosh boot faster and more compatible and more enhanced and stable in my next video I will cover how to upgrade your memory frequencies and how to overclock your CPU to the max limit making it give you the best performance out of it so stay tuned for it 
so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching hope you like it and hope you enjoyed it if you still have any question query let me know in the comment section below and i will try my best to answer your questions also i also have a patreon you can support me there and i will personally help you build your hackintoshes or windows machine for your software or video development and for or your audio development i will also tell you which hardware is best to get for your softwares and which hardware is best to build a hackintosh on i can also help you through internet through team Viewer, to build your hackintosh and i can personally help you set it up on your machines and you can support me so i can keep making such videos for you guys so that's all for this video guys thanks for watching hope you liked it and if you think this video on your subscription give it a thumbs up and until the very next video please take care allah Hafiz.